Hey guys, what's up? Kalen here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we have an Evo Felipe Coutinho review for you guys. So I have made him red and I have put him in the team and this is what the card looks like. 84 pace, 88 shooting, 99 passing with 97 dribbling. Defending and physical are absolutely horrible. But let's jump straight into the actual player bio and attribute details. So it's got medium, low work rates, not great. 5 star, 5 star though with the incisive pass master Evo completed. He's got the explosive acceleration type, can start a left wing and attacking mid. And I have gone with the Hunter Chem style obviously to boost the finishing and the sprint speed as much as possible. So sprint speed does go up to 79. He's got 99 acceleration. Attack positioning goes up to 96, finishing up to 92. Shot power up to 92. Volleys gets maxed out at 99 and penalties goes up to 90. Passing is absolutely phenomenal. Only long pass is not 99 rated and dribbling looks absolutely crazy with again everything being 99 rated except for the reactions at 90, the dribbling at 96 and the composure at 92. The defending doesn't really matter and the big problem on the card is the stamina being at 68. He is definitely not going to last full 90 but he does get the incisive pass trait and with that being said I'm going to try this card out at camp and left forward in a 4 one 2 on arrow and 4 3 2 one So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 93 rated incisive pass master Felipe Coutinho and starting off here with a pretty good goal that number 13 looks absolutely horrible on him so I'm going to change that but I can only do that after this game is over. Here Odegaard gets it into Coutinho, wonderful bit of skill, can I just maybe create a goal scoring challenge here, stays on his feet, does very well, loops it into the sky and that is absolutely ridiculous from Felipe Coutinho. Gets an open goal in the end, but he created it brilliantly. And as you can see, the dribbling on this card is absolutely sensational. And here again, he gets past one, two, three, four. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And on the five star week, he does end up tucking away that chance. On to the next goal. Pretty easy goal. Makes his way into the box, takes a touch, and just hits it across the goalkeeper. And then this is a much better goal, though. Wonderful turn. Keeps the ball very close to his body and he's able to spin around in the box and smash it into the near post. Finally, we do give Felipe Coutinho the number 10 shirt and starting off with a beautiful chip shot wearing the number 10. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Great touch, little burst of speed to get into the box and the finish is absolutely beautiful. Can we get another goal here? Coutinho, little bit of skill there. Still has a check Coutinho, it's absolutely brilliant, wonderful run from him. Again, I'm loving that little scoop move to get over the defender. It does seem to work quite often actually. And here again, wonderful turn, little burst of speed. Loops across into the box, could have shot from there, but Giroud was probably the more viable option to actually get a goal. And we do end up getting a goal. That was a good pass from him, and this pass is absolutely brilliant as well. A little cheeky back heel from Coutinho into Teo Hernandez. Who does end up converting his chance as well. So, heading on to the next match, Aspilicueta with the intervention. Is Coutinho going to make that supporting run? Yes, he is. Darts towards the byline. Beautiful cross. And Thiago is there with a pretty good finish. I did make a review on him as well if you guys are interested in seeing that. But that was one good pass. On to the next good pass. It's absolutely beautiful. Good is an understatement for that. Outside of the boot, calls it in Salah's path absolutely perfectly. And we end up scoring this pass not so perfect but Giroud is still able to take it on and he does end up slotting it in to the near post. Coutinho with yet another assist and to get possibly another one here Rodri finds Giroud gets it into Coutinho no actually maybe I'm gonna get a goal wonderful running from him great touch to get around the defender good speed to get away from Alfonso Davies and the finish into the near post is pretty good as well so here again Thiago gets that into Teo Hernandez and this guy has made it 3-2. Can we just maybe push ahead though and steal the game off? Yes, we can. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful tap-in from Coutinho. Just lets it run across him, opens up his body and places it beyond the goalkeeper. And then here he comes up with a good tackle though. And I'm just going to showcase the speed on the card that he does surprisingly have. And you guys will notice if you feel like you are getting caught, he does have, if I'm not mistaken, the rapid plus playstyle. So if you feel like he's getting caught, stop accelerating, or well, rather stop pressing sprint, and start pressing sprint again, and he will end up accelerating again quickly to get away from the defender as he did in that situation. 
Good free kick from him. It didn't end up crossing the line despite this guy putting a player on the line. So yeah, good speed, gets into the box, hits the shot across goal, and we do end up scoring. Now the next few clips would just be absolutely magical moments from Coutinho, as is this one. Great skill to somehow get in between that gap between the two players. Good ball over the top, Giroud unfortunately is denied. On to the next clip, another fancy pass. It's absolutely beautiful again from Coutinho, and unfortunately Giroud just couldn't get the shot away. Can we get another maybe goal here from Coutinho? No, we can't. I don't think we will, but it's wonderful, wonderful dribbling once more. And on to what I think is the last clip of this video. Thiago has possession. Coutinho makes it run through, takes a touch, dinks it over the goalkeeper. Five-star week for coming up clutch there. And we do end up getting yet another goal. So guys, with that being said, it is time now to review the card. And as you guys will see from the player bio, He's actually had a pretty solid goal return as compared to the start, if I'm not mistaken. In just 8 games, he has managed 4 goals and 6 assists. So 10 goal contributions in 8 games from Weekend League is honestly very, very good. Now, when it comes down to the attribute details, which I will go to in just a second, the pace in the card is surprisingly very good. Now, he is pretty quick and he can run in behind very easily. And I think the 99 sprint speed, I mean, sorry, the 99 acceleration does make a big difference with that but i think the plus eight to the sprint speed and the rapid plus playstyle that he does have i think he got that from the pacey winger evolution if i'm not mistaken that does make a very big difference because if you feel like you're getting caught let go of sprint and start sprinting again the only risk is that he does have 64 strength so the chances of him being pushed when you are shoulder to shoulder with a defender and about to accelerate chances of him being pushed and losing possession is very high but honestly, pace is very good. He feels very quick on the ball. And honestly, he can wriggle in and out of tight spaces and accelerate out of it very, very nicely. So pace does get an 8.7 out of 10. Shooting is very good. Left foot, right foot, he will score. He doesn't score long shots, which is very surprising because that's his best shooting attribute. But honestly, shooting does still deserve a 9 out of 10. Finishing inside the box is spectacular. Passing is just crazy. It's absolutely magnificent. Left foot, right foot. Again, the five-star weak foot. You guys get the point. You can do anything on either foot. Passing is one of those things that he can do perfectly. Over the top, normal through ball, crossing. He can do it all. So genuinely, passing deserves a 10 out of 10. And it's the first time I've given a player 10 out of 10 for passing this FIFA. Coutinho's passing is absolutely brilliant. And the incisive pass plus playstyle does make a huge difference. Dribbling is simply sensational. I think he deserves a 9.9 out of 10. I would give him a 10 out of 10, but he doesn't quite have the strength to hold off players when he's dribbling with the ball. So honestly, dribbling does get a 9.9 out of 10 and physical is absolutely horrible. He cannot lost the full line. He cannot hold players off the ball. So physical gets a 6.5 out of 10. You do have to take him off at around 70 minutes. But honestly, this guy will probably end up winning you the game before that. Now, if you bring him on off the bench, he's absolutely insane. He's absolutely crazy because he's got 99 acceleration, balance and agility. He feels very quick. 99 passing, 5-star skills, 5-star weak foot. He's phenomenal. Off the bench, this guy's insane. In the starting 11, you will have to take him off. So, do I recommend this card? Do I think you should do him? If you have a Felipe Coutinho card, by all means, go ahead and do him. This card is a very, very fun card. I do 100% recommend him for your team. If you are able to get your hands on him, if you are not, then you guys surely are regretting it because there aren't many on the market. He is extinct, if I'm not mistaken. But if you can get your hands on him, by all means, try get a Coutinho Evo done because he's absolutely brilliant. With that being said, I recommend this card at the camp position and with the Huntick himself. So without further ado, I do bring an end to this video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then, guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.